Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. J'apprends le français avec Vincent. And in this video, we'll discover together les verbes pronominaux et la forme négative à l'oral. Ok, so we'll discover together so les verbes pronominaux. We've been covering these topics uh, several times before, and especially in that video, I wanted to focus on this uh, negative form, uh, but especially when you talk, and uh, we're talking in that case about not formal context or not formal situations so just uh, the everyday uh, French language and so let's have a look because it's quite important when we talk about la négation of course normally I mean the official and correct way of putting this negative form is to use two parts the first one should be ne okay or an apostrophe and The second one should be pas. I mean, this is the way that normally it should be done. But if we think and if we start to listen about people when they talk, you can notice quite easily and quite fast that this first part, ne, tends to disappear. Okay? But the thing that you've got to keep in mind is that pas should definitely stay in your sentence because if you only keep ne and you just don't use pa it it i mean people won't understand you and they won't understand that it's a negative form okay so it's really this pa form that should stay in your sentence just to make clear that it's a negative uh, sentence or it's just a negative form of the verb okay so let's have a look now And we'll keep the present now for the negative form. So normally the official way would be to, to put it that way. Je ne me regarde pas. Okay. Then tu ne te regardes pas. Il, elle, on ne se regarde pas. Nous ne nous regardons pas. Vous ne vous regardez pas. Il, elle ne se regarde pas. Okay, so we do agree that these forms are the official and formal way of putting the negative form of se regarder. So you will first start with the negative form ne, after that me regarde, and then you will end with pas. But we do agree that if we uh, listen to people uh, talking French in the streets, then It will go like that. Je me regarde pas. So if you compare the two, as I told you, the first part of the negative form me will disappear. So you will end up with je me regarde pas. Okay. But the key thing is that you really need, sorry, to keep this pas. Okay. To make it clear that it's, well, the negative form. Then obviously tu te regardes pas. Il, elle, on se regarde pas. Nous, nous regardons pas. Vous, vous regardez pas. Il, elle, se regarde pas. We do agree that in that case, we're talking about not really formal French. So it's quite important to uh, know exactly, uh, well, in what situation you are. Because in some cases, well, if it's a really formal situation, then stick to the official way of putting the negative form and keep the first part je ne me regarde pas okay if the situation is not that formal then in that case you can use this je me regarde pas let's see how it will go with le passé composé okay same thing negative form so normally it should be je ne me suis pas regardé tu ne t'es pas regardé il, elle, on ne s'est pas regardé. Nous ne nous sommes pas regardés. Vous ne vous êtes pas regardés. Il, elle, ne se sont pas regardés. Okay, so we do agree that in that case we're talking about, well, the classic and official way of putting the negative form for se regarder at the passé composé form. Okay, but of course, as I told you, the way French people will do when it's in not a formal context then it will be just to drop the ne and so you will end up with this form je me suis pas regardé tu t'es pas regardé il elle on s'est pas regardé 
nous ne sommes pas regardés, vous vous êtes pas regardés, ils, elles se sont pas regardés. Ok? Same thing here, we're not talking about formal situations. If it's really formal, if it's really serious, it can be business situation or work related situation, then you will want to keep the ne part. Ok? Merci beaucoup, au revoir et à bientôt.